everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay Malloy um, and today I am doing a quick little haul. I have a few things that I picked up from Joann's and I also have my new Erin Condren um, life planner that I wanted to walk you through really quick. So I'm going to go through the stuff from Joann's first. Um, first up is a new notebook and I mean we're all stationary and planner junkies um, but I just thought this one was absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just a simple lined paper and what I was looking for was a notebook that did not have a bound end um, that I could use for work. And so I grabbed this one. It's easily like flips back and forth so that I can hold it like this if I'm jotting down something um, in my lap or something like that, you know, and it just, the colors are absolutely beautiful. Makes me want to get excited to take notes for work. So um, that's just the main reason why I got that. So just a quick little journal. Next up is a new little um, happy planner sticker pad and this is the holidays and season sticker pad and it has 37 full boxes and they all go along with the seasons and I think they're just absolutely beautiful stickers and some of them have foil on them um, like these Valentine's ones have silver foil I think this little flat lay image is so cute. I love that one. Um, here's a big, huge um, double full box. So this would go across two days. Um, this one has some gold foil. Every day is special. And it has um, some little shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. Some April showers quote and flowers. More flowers. Um, a little journaling um, one. I love this one, savor the sweet memories of sunshine and summer. I love anything with lemons and watermelon and lemonade, all that stuff. So, and then there's the, I am again obsessed with watermelons. I think those are super cute for 4th of July. The summer ones are really cute. Um, the fall one again has a couple foil dots. This would be really cute. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> For a little pumpkin spice spread, spread right there. Um, cute little Halloween ones. Um, fall. Grateful for Paige. This would be good to have in a Thanksgiving week spread. And then there's some Christmas ones. And then that's it. So I just thought this was really cute to use throughout the year. Something just to add to my stash um, that I could add on to basically any spread really for the holidays. Next up, I have two more um, Happy Planner sticker books and I got two these two here. The first one up is the food one and I've seen a lot of people have this one and I just thought it is super useful. I have been using um, the Happy Planner Fitness Planner actually and tracking my food. Um, so I thought this would be a really great addition to add a little bit of flair and make it a little bit more fun um, to make me excited about tracking my food because you know, I'm one of those people where, you know, tracking my food and fitness and all that kind of stuff is you know, not the highlight of my day, but if this is what makes me excited to do it and then I do it and then I see results, I mean, that's that's the goal, right? That's the goal in life. You wanna find what motivates you. So I think this one's really cute. It has little salads, little breads, just basically any type of food that you could think of. Um, so yeah, and then there's some script stickers and they're black and then a, few, um, a bunch of them are gold foil some more stickers um, i like that they have some farmer's market in, in there and cute little labels tasty favorite yum um, i also have a happy planner recipe organizer sorry my camera cut out there but 
Um, I was saying that I could see using these little script stickers with the gold foil in my Happy Planner um, recipe organizer. So yeah, I think thought this one was super cute um, and would be fun to use, especially with the recipe or for my food tracker. Um, and something that will not is not shown here is I did get another recipe organizer for as a gift for my mom. Let me zoom out for you guys really quick. Um, so yeah, I got that for her because she saw mine and was really interested, so I wanted to pick that up for her as well. Um, but I'm not showing that here because I am giving that one away. Um, then I also got the Happy Memory Keeping Everyday Memories sticker book. And I was really attracted to a lot of just the, um, some of the decor stickers in here, some, a lot of the gold foiling. Um, it's just beautiful kit. Here's some, these are one of those like clear stickers, but this one has gold foil on it. I love these little cacti um, stickers in the bikes. More little succulents. Um, some peaches, those aren't those gorgeous little mason jars. I love this too, that huge favorite. I don't see myself using this in a planner so much. Um, and I was thinking about getting the Happy Planner memory keeping planner, but um, I don't know. I've, I'm considering also using my new Aaron Condren for that. I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't know what I want to do, but I also really want to get back into project life a lot more. So um, I can see myself using that in project life rather than in my planner. Um, a same with a lot of these stickers. These would fit perfectly within a little 3x4 um, Project Life card, which I just think would those be cute. I love these little shirts. Aren't they cute? Just little de denim um, button-down shirts. I don't know what the bobby pin thing is, though. I am not sure what that is. I've, I've seen a couple stickers with that, but I'm just not sure, like, why you would want a bobby pin sticker. If you could explain that to me down below because that would be amazing if you knew why there was such a craze about these. I don't know, I think they're weird. I get angry at them because I lose them and they poke you in the head. <laughs> so I don't know why I would love them. So yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, this one is super cute. I loved this one, I mean, Probably just for that sticker alone, I would have bought it. Anything with a, um, what are they called? Monstera leaf. I'm sure that's not how you say it, but whatever. <laughs> um, just some really cute ones. I love these little tea bags. Oh, those are so cute. Um, the little summer um, popsicles there are cute too. Again, love those leaves. Pineapples. Just so many cute stickers that would definitely just, especially if you had a kit that didn't have a lot of deco, I feel like I could pull this in, especially for the seasonal weeks, um, and use these in there. This is kind of like the seasonal um, sticker book because it has just stuff throughout the year, you know, spring, summer, here's the fall section, and then kind of just general stuff, like some hand lettering. Um, these are cute little square stickers. You look sharp. Those are cute. Um, here's date stickers. So you put in the date, like month, day, year, or something like that. And then you can put these on top of a photo or something. And these look like <coughs> <coughs> some like sidebar things here cute little um, stickers these ones I, I bet you could put the date in as well um, again for ha for memory keeping sorts of things little word flags um, these are like weekend banners Almost, there's a couple weekend banners and then um, some other quotes, but they would fit over two. Like a weekend banner and then a couple more. Little um, 
just text words. So I thought those were cute. I'm excited to use those um, in some upcoming spreads. And yeah, I just, I thought this one was super cute, especially I've been loving finding all of the like seasonal things. So those are the three things that I got um, that were um, the me and my big ideas happy planner stickers. So I will add those to my growing happy planner sticker collection. The next up are two more sticker books that I found and these are from American Crafts and they are curated by um, some designers that are very popular on social and social media and um, so the two that I picked up were Jen Hadfield Home Made and then the Dear Lizzie Pack. Um, some other ones that I was contemplating, there's an Amy Tangerine one, which I absolutely love her Instagram. Um, if you haven't seen her Instagram, you should go and check that out. And her hand lettering is just gorgeous. But um, these ones are the ones that felt more like my style. Um, and they had, they're basically planner stickers um, in here. And I'll kind of flip through and see, show you what I was talking about. but. Um, I just thought these little home ones are so cute. There's just some simple things that you could definitely use. Some little um, label tabs, deco pieces, lots of deco, um, weather. Definitely more stickers that I would use in Project Life, but um, there are some stickers in here that I would definitely use in like a planner spread. Um, like this one, it kind of looks like a planner spread right here. These are, they would fit in the Happy Planner or the Erin Condren width. Um, some washi strips, and then again, some like check boxes, little deco pieces, more full boxes. Um, so yeah, and then there's these little lists. I mean, they're, they're just so pretty and muted. You know, this one kind of reminded me of Joanna Gaines and farmhouse style. Like I, these little tiny icons, those are cute, definitely to add. I love this page. I mean, it's so beautiful. There's just little quotes in it and it's gold foiled and the colors are just vibrant and bright. Um, and I believe these stickers are slightly transparent. So um, best to keep the bright colors um, if you put them on white backgrounds. Um, so yeah, I thought those were really cute. And again, that one was Jen Hadfield's Homemade. And then the other sticker book that I got, um, still from American Crafts, curated by Dear Lizzie. And this one is just cute, fun. Um, I loved this one. And this one has like rose gold foil on it. So I thought that was a little different. And I love the style on here, just the, the graphics and the, the doodles and things. Again, lemons. I mean, this is probably the one that sold me on this, the little peach flag. Oh, and the colors. I don't know what it is about this color yellow. It's like a mustard color, but I just, I love that color. I really want to create a kit with that mustard yellow color and like a navy, maybe a mint or something like that. I just think that would be beautiful. Um, but yeah, just super cute little stickers with, and these ones all have, um, the kind of copper rose goldy foiling on them. So I thought these would be super cute to use instead of date headers. Um, they might be a little big, but I, I would figure out a way to make them. If not like a project life spread or something like that. These ones have that coppery rose goldy foil on them, some washi strips. I mean, you could really even use these as a kit themselves and then just supplement with some happy planner stickers like the checklists and things like that and functional things um, right here. They have a bunch of these in this book. Here's some of the um, functionals too. I mean, really, this is a book full of kits. And I think they were, they're the same prices as the Happy Planner stickers. Um, so yeah, if you used a coupon, I know at Joann's, these were all 40% off. 
um, so already, so I, I didn't use a coupon on these, but they were already on sale. But yeah, these are these are ones are super cute, and they're basically a bunch of kits in here. So I look forward to using those instead of a planner sticker kit from Etsy, um, just to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Last but not least, I wanted to show my new Erin Condren Life Planner. And I decided this year, this is the first time I've ever gone with the rose gold coil, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then I went with the like rose gold, you can see my lights, <laughs> um, rose gold foiling and got my name on the front. Um, and I'll just flip through a couple of the um, big highlights because I know that there's plenty of other channels that have gone in detail um, on the life planner, the new life planner. Um, so yeah, I'll just go quickly through just some of my favorite parts. Um, I am not sure that I like the this like lines. I mean, it's very simple. So I mean, that much I like. But yeah, I just I don't know. <laughs> I think it's 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 still cute. Very, very Erin Condren, just abstracty designing. Um, so yeah, I think generally it's pretty much the same. Um, I was kind of just planning out what I wanted to use the space for, so that's why I had sticky notes there. Um, but yeah, it's generally the same, except for the notes pages um, every month are gone. Now it's just the lined notes page. So that's new and different. Um, so yeah, pretty much generally the same. I mean, the weeks look the same. Everything is the same. Some things that are different, of course, is the back. Um, I got the neutral, obviously. Um, is the back has different notes pages. So a few lined pieces, some dots, and some color pages. I'm glad they kept these in because I actually love these color pages, especially on long calls where um, at work where I just start doodling and <laughs> need something mindless to do. I like the little llamas, those are cute, and little flowers. And then this is what's new. In the back there is a tab for contacts and you can put name and then there's two lines. Um, I think this would be great to add like um, important numbers that you don't want to like keep as a contact number in your phone or something like that. Maybe a doctor's number or the trash company or the, you know, your electric company, stuff, stuff like that where you, you don't want to put it in your phone, but you still want to be able to find it quickly without having to search on Google every time you need to, um, resolve an issue or something like that. So I kind of I kind of like that. Um, and again, same great quality paper. That's 100% the reason why I love Erin Condren. I mean, the paper is basically almost cardstock. Um, so it's great. Um, I love this section and the pre-plan. I don't think I'd ever, I don't think I've ever planned anything that far in advance because this is 2020 and yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I've ever used this section, but it's good to have. Um, so yeah, and then the stickers are a little bit different. Again, still that beautiful gold, silver, and rose gold foiling throughout. Um, then there's, this is a newer page. Um, it has some um, like habit tra trackers, some little appointment label kinds of things, some little headers some just little boxes to make lists, some little checklists. And then these are super cute. These are new um, for this year in the back for the stickers. And it is all of these little icons, which I am super excited to use these. I'm definitely a sticker hoarder though when it comes to Erin Condren stickers because, you know, I just, I don't order them on their own very often. Often, so, um, so yeah, I'm definitely am gonna be hoarding these, but I'll definitely try and use them up because they are super cute. Um, but yeah, I'll try and use them up when they match a spread. That would be cute for like Valentine's Day. And again, they're all different colors of foil. There's rose gold, um, regular gold, and then silver. 
And then of course these appointment labels, which I use these on my monthly spreads um, every month. So definitely excited to see more of these and in different colors. Um, but I do wish that there were more because there used to be two pages of these and there's only one this year. So that'll be a bummer, but um, still, I will still use all of those. Um, this one has some um, rose gold foiling on here and again, more rose gold foiling. The perpetual calendar has rose gold on it and just gorgeous. Um, I use one of these, but I'm not sure what I would use this one for. I've seen someone use this for memory plant, like memory keeping, you just do one line a day. So I wonder if I might try and do that and just start using this maybe June 1st or something. Um, yeah, I think I might do that. I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know how it, how it goes. Um, now for the last part, I've already taken, taken, um, this out. It comes separate and I go ahead and just add on the sticky thing, um, on the edge here, but in the extras, you actually get, um, of course a little sentiment, um, postcard, then some enjoy labels this one has some foiling on it um and then some of these codes which i never use so i don't know if you want to pause the video and just go ahead and use them go for it um because i never use them so i'm gonna leave this here if you want to just pause now and then go ahead and use them because i i'd always forget about these i never use them so have at it, guys. <laughs> um, but this is just the piece de resistance just right here, this hollow foil sticker sheet with, of course, the tropical leaf, which I love, <laughs> and the cute little llama. I think the little llama that they've been using um, for Go Wild and just adding their little llama in different designs and everything is just super cute. But look at this freaking holographic foil. It is so cool. It's like almost like rainbow foil. It goes different colors every which way. So yeah, I thought those were really fun. This would be a fun um, sticker sheet to use maybe in like a summer spread. So excited to use those. So yeah. And I always just keep this thing in the back here because um, I really do use these. I even I even store some stickers um, in an older one. It didn't have the zip enclosure um, one year. It was it was the like compressed the dots. It was the year they did the dots or something. So, but yeah, I still use this like all the time. This is where I keep all of my um, leftovers and then I end up using them in spreads. So yeah And um, here's the back of this and you can see some of the gold foiling again in the um, Succulents, so I thought this was um, Just it's a, as usual beautiful great quality paper um, And for my Erin Condren this year though, I am planning on using this solely for planning out videos, my blog posts, um, you know, um, working on the Sticky Fox. So yeah, I don't know that I'll show too much of this, um, but I definitely still plan on using stickers, of course. Um, but probably not sticker kits, more like just Happy Planner stickers and Sticky Fox stickers um, and testing them out in here. So yeah. All right, that is all that I have to show you in this haul. Ooh, that rhymed. Um, so if you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of these items, again, um, I'm sure they are all at Michael's or Joanne's, um, aside from, obviously, the Erin Condren. But yeah, I thought these were absolutely just a cool find right there. 
and just fun to use. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.